icy wind, powerful rain slanting, hitting the wind floors, entering into our apartments. We thought they were taking the birds out and flying with that kind of thing. But basically, rains in Bangalore City don't last long. They come with full power, five to ten minutes or I think fifteen minutes. Today also it came with full power. We were asking my Chennai Shiva and Murugappa whether the Australian supernatural grass can be planted. And they said the upper layer is not even loose and they brought the tractor and the tractor wouldn't move because it's very thick. And Chanakesha told me, one more rain, Swamiji, we can run it. I said, don't worry, rain will come. And it turned around massive rain. I called him to ask him, so is the rain enough for you? He said, enough. So maybe tomorrow we'll plant the Australian supernatural grass. It grows over 20 feet tall. Maybe their grass is also very effective, 16 to 18 percent protein for the for the cows. Mm. A law of friendship is an art of keeping distance. Where well, love is an art of intimacy. When I heard this quote, I was thinking, is this the friendship America and NATO is having with uh, Ukraine? Is an art of keeping distance. Keep a distance since we your friend. While love is an art of intimacy, and they, are, they have lovers. Lovers plan to crush friends in between. And who are the lovers? America, the NATO, and Russia are lovers. America, can you believe the moment Russia started wearing mini skirt and making the walk, catwalk? America started another catwalk. Mm -hmm. They are all trying to find who will become the Miss World. And in between, looting. Destroying your friend called Ukraine. The catwalks. America today showing a nuclear bomb and Russia showing another nuclear bomb. I said they're wearing different different dresses for a catwalk. Fooling people. Sigmund Freud, born in 6 May 1856 in Sheshiva, died on 23rd September 1939 in London. And was an Austrian neurologist and the father of the psychoanalyzed the clinical method by evaluating and reading pathologies in the psych through dialogue between a patient and a psychoanalyst. I was the second time I'm talking about Sigmund Freud's quote. I was very much interested in reading Sigmund Freud's books, interpretations of dreams. I followed him for a very long time in my childhood, in my young days with God. Friendship is an art of keeping distance. And throughout my 758th day today, I've been telling relatives, please go back to your relatives, strengthen your family, strengthen your joint family. There, where you stand, the moment they destroyed your relationship. And they kept on spreading the rumor, spreading the poison, brainwashing you, telling friends are people who come when you need them. But they have already broken your relatives. They make you and the relatives very far away by the poison mockery. And you have no way except to accept this medicine called friends. I am not telling you shouldn't keep friends, but why break a relationship which stabilizes, which is stabilized? Sigmund Freud, friendship is an art of keeping distance. They knew friends will always keep a distance. When they come home, also they will stand outside the gate and talk, not right inside for a function. That distance is always good because for them to make you a slave. But love is an art of intimacy. Yes. Love is an art of intimacy. That intimacy is very, very important. The other friendship is if you like it, you pluck it. Yes. Friends really deals in that position. They pluck it. They like it. America, NATO likes Ukraine so much. They like it, so they pluck it. Well, love is an art of intimacy. You water it. Instead of putting oil into the fire, they should have sat and solved the problems. 
our Indian Foreign Minister Jay Shandar was telling, when China was attacking India and we were having a problem with China, when we ran to all the European countries, the advice they gave, they didn't even interfere, they didn't even say anything, they called China to speak to them or they just gave India advice telling, do more trade with China. That is the kind of friendship. And Jason said, suppose if we are supposed to tell you the same thing now, Europe, let us forget about the politics. Friendship is an art of keeping distance, while love is an art of intimacy. That intimacy is very, very important, sitting bound to one bound. You keep watering your subject, your question, and it opens to vast and beautiful world, and that beautiful world is full of richness. They never allowed you, because the friends will stop at a point, you cannot go right inside the friend's house, or to their relatives, mingle with them, sleep with them, take part with them in the same house, but your relatives can always see. You, you never understand that kind of a power, so they kept on telling the poor, the poor man can pass through the eye of a needle, but not the rich. And the poor thought that is when you can pass through the eye of the needle, you can be so flexible. You are so much like a water which can penetrate anything, means you are rich, you can enter into the gates of heaven, but a rich man can. They kept on brainwashing you and you got disconnected. Friendship is not keeping the distances. Friends always have a distance and they kept on encouraging you and they kept on encouraging you. You have a boyfriend, girlfriend. Wow, your boyfriend, girlfriend, very real distance is maintained. Yes. And you never become intimate in your house. That intimacy is very, very important. When you start watering the plant, you are in love because you can see every part of your hard work boiling it. Yes. And you can see when you go deeper, deeper, and it opens to a vast ocean, you can see not multiple saturations, but orgasmic experience. Breaking open and for a second, in that organ, orgasmic experience, the past, present and the future stops. And meditation teaches the same thing. When everything stops, two theories stand in front of you. Such is the power of your richness. Well, love is an art of intimacy. The intimate relationship of you and your lover to keep. You and your subject question and answer to Ketan. You and your land. When you met with the rain, as I said, when the rain comes, nowadays people rush inside. In olden times, when the rain comes, people rush outside because that intimate relationship with the rain and the rainwater, when you cannot touch the rain, and the moment you touch the rain, you get cold and cough. They rush up to the hospital, it means cold, and the cough came from where? Because there is dirt inside your body. The body is telling now you cleanse it up, but no, 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 no. You rush up to the doctor, doctor suppresses you. Yes. And everyone's suppression leads to reverse psychology of diseases. Reverse psychology of not allowing the, the body to experience the orgasmic experience of truth. Love, feelings, feel, smell, taste, touch, and see. Be intimate.